All right, guys, welcome back to another knife review. Um, today we're going to be reviewing um, a knife by CRKT, and that is none other than the M16-01KS. Um, <clears throat> this is my first CRKT knife um, I've purchased, fairly cheap, but I like the look of it and decided to do a little review on it. So right off the bat, I like the look of it and I like the design. Um, also the pocket clip right here is reversible if you want to put it on this side. But um, I thought that was pretty cool actually. Um, but yeah, so this is the CRKT M16-01KS and it is a manual. Um, I really like the, the thin little blade look. It's almost like a, uh, reminds me of like a gentleman's knife kind of. Um, but it's like a mix between like gentleman and a tactical. It's got a tactical look, but it also has like a nice gentleman's blade. Um, we've got the black finish on the blade. Uh, got the double thumb studs right here. The blade is pretty thin. Um, I don't mind that. Like I said, I, I think it's cool to have a couple thinner um, little gentleman knife type blades in my collection. Um, got this on my local Walmart for about 23 bucks. Not bad. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I've never, like I said, this is my first CRKT knife. Um, I haven't really explored much into the CRKT CRKT um, lineup for different knives, but um, uh, this definitely put a good print on me. I do like them, so I'm probably gonna end up getting a couple more CRKT knives. One I do have my eye on that I'm I really want to get is the Provoke, the I guess you could say semi auto or assisted opening um, Karambit. That one really catches my attention, um, so I'm probably gonna get that one sometime soon, but. Yeah, so this is a Carson design um, right here. says that. It's got a decent sized pocket clip. It's pretty sturdy, and like I said, you can swap it over to this side if you want. Um, it's got a frame lock. Like I said, it's manual opening. It's it's kind of stiff, but I think as I break it in, it'll get better. Um, it's easy to open, though. That's a good thing, plus about that. Um, and then for the blade steel, it is a 8CR13 MOV. Um, I feel like these, this is a very frequently used blade steel in uh, knives that are around like the $20 to $50 price range. Um, it's pretty good blade steel. But yeah, so this has a weight of 2.8 ounces, um, so just under three. It's not too heavy. Um, it's about, I'd say, a pretty appropriate weight for this size. Um, cause it is like 7.1 inches overall when it's fully open like this. So that has the blade at 3.1 inches, but I'd say realistically like three or 2.9 inches of a cutting edge right here. And I like the plain edge. Um, I don't think a knife has been serrated that I have reviewed on the channel yet. Um, but yeah, and actually I do like this blade as well because this is my first spear point um blade <clears throat> excuse me but yeah this is my first spear point blade um i like the look of this a lot i must say i am a big fan of this um this is pretty cool um but yeah i mean there's not much to say about this knife it's a solid knife it's not gonna be the best because it's not crazy expensive but it's got good blade steel it comes really sharp in the box that's pretty easy to open and i mean i'd recommend it to anyone who's uh trying to get a knife that is a little bit of a gentleman and a tactical it's sharp i haven't tested out how it holds an edge yet um, but i will pretty soon and then it also it has a nice lock up it sits right in the middle and then also when it's open it also kind of sits right in the middle as well it's a pretty good lock up right there um, off to the left a little bit but i mean it's pretty solid in there and so i would i would not be too skeptical about that but yeah so overall nice knife um i really do like this knife um especially the spear point um blade style but yeah i mean if you guys like the video make sure to like and subscribe and i'm going to be reviewing a couple more knives this week but yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed